really yeah. unusual. You see, you'll go home and make a whole load of yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to be making a hollow donut pendant uh, using polymer clay. I'm going to do a makume garni surface texture. Uh, so you can see here some examples. You can do all sorts of different effects on the surface. You have been recommended to use a clay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do makume garni, which is a Japanese word it means wood grain effect um, and it gives a nice sort of marbled pattern so I've got some colors pre-mixed here um, it's it's a nice idea to have a, a lighter medium and a dark color you get a nice blend with that um, so I'm just going to thin these out a little bit So this is the pasta machine. Um, it just helps get a nice even sheet of clay, and also use it to condition the clay. She sometimes uses. So, just want to make a stack. Not to use cotton t-shirts. Knitted. So, see what you put at home. So you put them all together and then uh, So this is a tissue blade. Um, uh, this is a flexible blade. I'll use this one later. Uh, this is slightly more rigid. So you've got your three layers there. Uh, just need to cut that roughly in half. You can neaten up these edges if you want. It doesn't matter too much. So stack them up. So then you've got six layers. So that's one cut. You put this through the custom machine again. So you do that once, you do it again. And you do it three times, so do that once more. So what you're wanting is thin layers of clay, but you don't want them mixed yet. So you want them still separate nice and thin. Okay, can you see there the yellow, you're starting to see the colour underneath. It's it's slightly less yellow than it used to be, that's as thin as you want it. This I'm just doing a top colour, so you put this through the pasta machine uh, from to thinner settings. When you use the pasta machine you need to do every setting from thick to thin, you can't just whack it through on the thinnest. Setting otherwise you kill your customer. <laughs> Once you use it for polymer then that's it. I'm just scratching off because my pasta machine's not as clean as it should be. Just scratching off the wrong colours there. this one on top of here. So when you lay the colour down, you don't want air bubbles. So you start on one side and you just smooth it along like that. Get less air bubbles. And then I'm just going to cut off this
doesn't stay that way. I'm just cleaning my board. This, I have a blob of scrap, which I keep adding to. I can also go in the scrap. Right, so back in the pasta machine. And I just go down a couple of settings, so it's about two mils thick. You want to keep it fairly thick. Okay. So my again, when you put this on the board, you don't want bubbles underneath. So just smooth it down like that. My board, I've put it's a, it's a piece of glass. I think it must have been a bathroom shelf or something. It's got nice edges. So that's just a little circle of masking tape so that it's nicely stuck to my work surface. Right. Okay, so you get a stamp. So this is going to determine the pattern you get. This is a nice um, deep stamp. Um, so what you want to do before you stamp it is you put, just spritz it with some water. This is supposed to be a fine mist. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> there. So there's a bit of water. That just stops the stamp sticking to the clay. Uh, so then you put your stamp down and then you need to use a lot of pressure here. It's quite a good idea to stand up. So you want a nice deep stamp in there. So it's a good idea to spend a bit of time. See, I should have pressed a bit harder there. It's not quite hard enough. Um, I can show you. This is a stamp I made myself using the polymer clay. So I just had a flat sheet and I made some little snakes which I stuck on and then made a handle. Whoop. So you just want something interesting along the whole surface. Let me do another one here. Um, actually, I'll just do this. Okay. So this is the interesting bit now. So this is my flexible blade. And you very gently off the top and then we'll reveal all the colours underneath. Bend the blade slightly and what you want is you want to shave off all the clay and just leave your stamp pattern um, so the green will be the stamp will show the stamp pattern and then all the in between bits will be all the, those layers of colour in a sort of marbled hmm. it's best to do it in small increments because otherwise you just you can shave off Is a, a, a site called Clay Around, and they've got all the blades and the polymer and pretty much everything you need. The the work surface you can use. I've got a piece of glass here. But you can also use um, tile if you can get a big floor tile, ceramic. You need something that's um, non-porous.
There we go, starting to get some interesting bits coming. It's a good idea to clean away these little scraps as you do them, otherwise they'll get stuck on your good surface, which you don't want. The trick here is knowing when to stop, which maybe I don't. So, the next thing, so your surface, because you've been cutting it, is a bit bumpy, so you want to smooth the surface as much as you can so that you don't need to sand the pendant too much once it's baked. Okay. I just can't stop here. Okay. So what I've got here is a sheet of baking parchment. You need to use baking parchment, not um, greaseproof paper. So you put that on top of your clay. This is just a little piece of card. Gives it a bit of stiffness. So with that you just rub. What this does is smooth the surface. Because what happens if when you sand it, you'll sand off layers of the clay, you know, if it's all uneven. To, um, you lay sand off layers of the clay and then it, it changes your pattern so you want this as smooth as possible the best way is to feel it I can see there's a bump there so I'll just do some more just keep shifting the paper um, so that it doesn't stick too much to your surface <laughs> okay, so now I've got your sheet. I'm just going to um, run my blade under to loosen it off the board. How much is it? You don't want to lift it up because then you'll stretch it. You want another one with beads on there? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get this. I don't know what I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, the, the only other one with beads on is that. Oh, I see. Mm. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So just loosen that a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to make the sheet into a donut shape. 